Hello everybody, I hope you guys are all enjoying your day. Today we're going to be looking at this next winter storm for parts of the coastal northeast and mid-Atlantic. One of the first storms for many of these areas that you are going to be picking up. Uh, and we're going to be looking at your precipitation, your snowfall, as well as your temperatures at different heights in the atmosphere. We're going to be looking at uh, your s surface temperatures and also your temperatures 18,000 feet up in the atmosphere. And this is really going to indicate whether you're going to see snowfall because areas that are having temperatures 33 34 where usually it will be raining a very cold rain 35 even uh you're seeing snowfall out of this and this is because you have very cold air up in the atmosphere uh and that's uh it's not given enough time to uh kind of heat up as it sinks lower and lower in the atmosphere where it is uh warmer uh so it is allowing that uh snowfall to kind of stay and even though it might not stick, it'll still uh, fall, and some of it will stick. Uh, really, the intensity, if you have enough intensity, any snow will stick. It doesn't really matter your temperature, uh, and it will stick pretty much if you have that uh, correct intensity. So we are starting off with the National Weather Service, and we start off west to east. We have winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories, uh, and that's over parts of the, the northwestern United States. You have the system that's coming out in off the Pacific, and that's going to be bringing in all those advisories and warnings. You also have some flood watches in effect for parts of westernmost uh, Washington State, as well as some high wind warnings in effect for parts of uh, the northern or the uh, central Rockies, as well as parts of Montana and Wyoming and Southern California those wind advisories and high wind warnings also we have some winter weather advisories over parts of the central rockies in colorado and then also the northern up of michigan and also for parts of the mid-atlantic you are all seeing winter weather advisories uh and that's pretty much it with the National Weather Service. We don't have a lot going on uh, on the National Weather Service page right now. I think they will add a little bit more advisories uh, and potentially even a warning or two, probably in West Virginia or Western Virginia, uh, where you could pick up over six inches of snowfall, which we'll get into right now. So we're going to look at the European model and we're going to look at different views of this. So here, starting off with your uh, mid-Atlantic view, we're going to continue this all the way until this precipitation starts. And you see, we have this precipitation. It's going to really engulf much of this area if we continue this forward a little bit. You see, it engulfs much of this area. And this is uh, this is a uh, gulf moisture that's being pulled up north. And that's going to be allowing the system to grow. Otherwise, this system wouldn't really even have occurred. But this isn't a lot of gulf moisture. You have dry air over the gulf uh, or you have drier air over the Gulf, so that's not going to allow as much precipitation or moisture uh, as normal. That would be uh, filtered into parts of uh, the Mid-Atlantic where you usually get that feed of moisture, uh, and that allows uh, storms to really intensify and grow. So you see, this is pretty much the only moisture you get from the Gulf, and you see we have snowfall now breaking out around Tuesday uh, mid-afternoon uh, into really the late uh, morning. You're seeing that snowfall coming in uh, over parts of Kentucky into West Virginia, Virginia, and some icing over parts of uh, Virginia and North Carolina as well. That ice won't really accumulate to too much. Look, I was looking at the freezing rain accumulation, and it was right around under a tenth of an inch, so not too much freezing rain uh, uh, um, for parts of southern Virginia and northern North Carolina. Now, this is all according to the European model. Really, models have a really good handle as, it, as we get into this area. Where they don't have a good handle is once you get into the coastal northeast uh, and that's always happens pretty much. Once it gets on shore, that's when we have the best uh, idea of where of where this is going to track. It has multiple solutions to uh, where it could track. Uh, it's really just which one it chooses and when this cold air arrives. Because if we have this overpowering cold air, then we aren't going to have uh, enough at, uh, enough moisture in the atmosphere to even produce this system. So uh, really you need those temperatures anywhere between 25 and 35 degrees to really have that system bring some snowfall. Now, as we continue this, you're seeing the snowfall continue through parts of the uh, mid-Atlantic and that's over parts of West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, and even getting to southern Pennsylvania now as we get into your Tuesday rush hour time. And then as we continue this uh, through New Jersey now by Tuesday uh, late uh, late night, so you probably won't even be on the roads. Uh, this is the time people go to sleep. And as we continue this, see the rain really just overtakes here as this warmer air starts to infiltrate. Now, 
we're going to look at the northeast. So as we continue this, you see uh, we, we're going to catch up here. So you're seeing the snow start to break out over southern New England. And as we continue this, snow hits Boston for a couple hours then dissipates and then you're just seeing it over southern Massachusetts and Rhode Island and then it moves out into Maine where you could see a little bit of lake effect and some uh, snowfall, snowfall from the system. So here are your temperatures from this system. Now here's when this uh, system is really starting to get going and your, uh, if you recall your real snow was somewhere in around here according to the European and your temperatures here are ranging from about 34 degrees to some mountaintops closer into the teens and uh, lower 20s. Uh, but it's really uh, these areas when where they're seeing the snowfall, these areas that are going to be uh, with the most concern because you are going to be seeing those very cold temperatures aloft. If I switch to those uh, temperatures aloft, uh, you'll see here are your temperatures aloft and you're seeing this very cold air coming in uh, by Tuesday your temperatures aloft uh, are below freezing by quite a bit your temperatures aloft are right around negative 16 to negative 20 degrees Celsius which is around negative 30 to negative 40 degrees uh, uh, Fahrenheit so we're seeing those very cold temperatures aloft and that's going to be allowing all this uh, snowfall to occur uh, and this is really uh, where once it gets to around this area, this air mass, if that infiltrates quick enough, that's when your snowfall is going to stop because it doesn't have uh, cold air is also dry air. So you're not going to have uh, enough moisture in the atmosphere to even produce snowfall. So the colder the air is, you want it just at that right position where it's not too cold and it's also not too warm where you don't even see snowfall so it's quite a bit of a tricky situation and look at these temperatures negative 32 negative 36 over parts uh in canada so that's uh that's temperatures that are right around negative 50 negative 60 degrees so those are very cold temperatures and if that comes in quick enough you're not going to see snowfall in these areas uh it's just not going to happen because you don't have enough uh enough uh, enough uh, uh warmer moist air in the atmosphere you also need that warm moist air to be uh, to allow this uh, precipitation to come in so here's the snowfall totals over the mid-atlantic here and you're seeing about three to five inches and that's really over parts of West Virginia, Kentucky, into Virginia, as well as Maryland. You're all seeing about three to five inches. And once you get into parts of the Northeast, I'll switch the view now. Here's the Northeast. This is really the only area that's going to be seeing uh, major impacts. Also, parts of Maine and northern New England will also see some impacts. But this is going to be the real area that has the threat for seeing a lot of snowfall, but also doesn't look to see a lot of snowfall. And that's going to, you're only going to pick up, according to the European, around an inch of snow, so, snowfall. So this really isn't a big uh, snowstorm. Uh, and... I just want to show you an example of one of the models that are pushing this uh, system so far south that it doesn't even, uh, th so uh, that cold air coming in so fast that it doesn't even have, uh, this system doesn't even have time to develop. You see, this is the NAM 3 cam model. Uh, we're not going to go in depth with this, but you see, once it hits about New Jersey, it just goes offshore because this cold air, the boundary with this cold air is right around here by this point. So this low pressure system right around here can't move in through there, so it has to ride all up along the coast uh, and that's not going to allow areas in this area to really see that much snowfall out of this system so here we go into my forecast uh, and this is going to show you the storm track and all that and so uh, we're getting into my storm track I, I don't know why uh, my little taskbar at the bottom is there uh, so I do apologize for that but it's okay we'll look at uh, my low pressure track this is coming from the 7th through the 8th uh, and you see my, I believe my low pressure is the low pressure is going to track uh, currently you have an, uh, a, a low pressure system that's right around northern Missouri but that's at the higher uh, heights in the atmosphere so that's not really at the surface you're not seeing any precipitation once it hits about the Kentucky area uh, and it's meeting up with that Gulf moisture, that's when you're going to see that uh, low pressure really start to take off and bring some moisture. Now, here is my coating to an inch layer, and this is uh, this is where you're going to be seeing under an inch of snowfall, and this is over a good area from parts of Tennessee, North Carolina, really the Appalachian areas of those, the mountainous areas of those states, and then through parts of the central Appalachians, through the Ohio Valley, parts of the eastern Ohio Valley, and into much of the northeast, seeing under an inch of snowfall at least. Now, here's where you're going to be seeing one to three inches, and I believe 
This is going to be over southern Massachusetts and into southern Rhode Island, as well as parts of Ohio, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and into much of West Virginia and a little bit of Kentucky and Virginia as well, where you could be picking up one to three inches of snowfall. Here is your next area where you're going to be picking up around three to six inches, and I believe that's going to be over southern Pennsylvania, western Maryland, and into uh, the central portions of West Virginia. So here is my rainfall forecast added on. You're really not going to see too much in the form of rainfall. It's gonna this precipitation is so limited from the Gulf that it's going to move up so fast that it's going to meet with that cool air in time that it's going to be mainly snowfall uh, out of this system. So. That is going to do with this video. Please consider uh, liking the video, subscribing, and turning on notifications so you never miss a video when I upload. Anyways, guys, that was Eli the other guy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.